When Don Moen was a child, his mother forced him to take piano lessons, and he hated every minute of it. He discovered he had a gift for making music, though, and he's used that gift to bring hope to millions of Christians worldwide. Internationally renowned and multi-award winning worship artist Don Moen shares the heartbreaking story behind his hallmark song, God Will Make a Way. Sadly, his nephew Jeremy was killed in a car crash when his family was sideswiped by an 18-wheeler. In his book, God Will Make a Way, Don Moen shares the message behind the song that's touched countless lives and how something so painful turned into something so beautiful. And Don Moen is here with us now. Welcome back to the 700 Club. Thank you. It's great to be with you it's again. It's great to yeah. see you. And congratulations on the new book. Thank you. Now, the story, uh, God Will Make a Way, the song began with that late night phone call that nobody wants to get. What right. happened, Don? I got a call from my mother-in-law late one night, and uh, she you know, informed me that my wife's sister and husband had been involved in a car accident. Uh, they've been traveling uh, to go on a ski vacation, yeah. uh, and their van was broadsided in the Texas Panhandle in the middle of nowhere uh, by an 18-wheeler, and uh, three uh, of the four boys were seriously injured, and the oldest boy was almost to be nine years old. Uh, Jeremy was killed instantly. And, you know, when you get the news like that, all the scriptures that came to my mind to share with them yeah. kind of fell short of what I really wanted to say. and. Uh, and I had to get on the airplane the next day, and I was—I just said, God, give me something to say to this family that would bring hope to them. Mm. And I was reading from Isaiah 43, uh, verse 18 and 19 says, uh, "Don't remember the former things. Behold, I will do something new, and now it will spring forth. I will make a roadway in the wilderness, mm. and a river in the desert." And on the airplane, I sketched out the words and the music to that song. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. And here's the line I know mm. the Lord gave me to say, He works in ways we cannot see. We cannot see. That, that's, that's what you hold on to. You know, even though everything else is looking hopeless, yeah. that even at this moment, God is working in ways you cannot see. Interesting. You were so wanting to have the right words, and yeah. instead, God gave, He did give you the words, but instead He put it in a song. How did that song, you eventually were able to share the song and the lyrics uh, yeah. with the family, with your sister-in-law, and, and, and at the funeral. Yeah. How did it impact them? Well, I didn't, you know, I thought I would sing it for the funeral, but I only sang it for them privately. Oh. Just the two of them. Wow. And I, you know, held them and hugged them, and I said, you need, there are going to be days uh, following the funeral when you're going to need to hear this. And so I've made a recording of it, and I said to Susan, put it over the kitchen sink and press play whenever you begin to feel hopeless. And I, that's yeah. all it was. I never did sing it at the funeral, and I uh, didn't sing it for two more years. I never wrote the song to, uh, to record it until a couple of years later I was uh, at Integrity Music, and I sang for the chapel service. Mm. And... Um, and that day, it's like everybody needed to hear that song. And they said, why don't you record it? And yeah. I said, I don't think I ever will. It's a personal song. Uh, it was written for a desperate situation it's, in yeah. my life. It just felt too personal. But, you know, even though the song was birthed out of a tragedy, yeah. you say it's not a desperate song. No, no. No, it's a song of declaration. It was, it's not a song of desperation. It's a song of declaration. Yeah. God will make a way. And people need to say that everywhere uh, in the world. I watch the things that you do, Operation Blessing. I see all these miracles, how yeah. God makes a way uh, for people every single day. And I think the song just uh, just captures that. He's always working in ways we can't see. Well, Don, I, I love your book. And when I was reading it last <laughs> night, I was so shocked to know that you ran as far. You, you tried to run from your your music gifts, and you you hated the piano lessons, but yep. you stuck with it. And then you you used your your gifts allowed you to go to college on scholarship. Yeah. But even during that time that you're playing the violin and you're playing the piano, you're still thinking, you know, I want to do something outdoors. You, you ended up becoming a lumberjack? Yeah. Well, I quit. Uh, I, I, violin, music was my life. 
and I just to play it in symphonies and operas and all this stuff. And I, you know, I was raised real conservatively. Yeah. So uh, my mother uh, made me quit the jazz band at school because I played trombone. Anything goes, with a beat was yeah, Donnie, considered when people naughty. People play music with a beat. They dance, and when people dance, bad things happen. <laughs> right. and, and so I was playing these symphonies, and I was so moved emotionally. I thought anything I love this much has got to be sin. Wow. So I left, and I uh, became yeah, I became a lumberjack in the north woods of Minnesota driving a bulldozer. And after about a, a few weeks of that in 30 below zero, and I thought... And you opened your lunch, your lunch box and your peanut butter and jelly sandwich was frozen. Yeah, just like toffee. Just, I thought, I think maybe playing violin isn't so bad after all. <laughs> and that's when I went to Oral Roberts University. And yeah. you made your way to Oral yeah. Roberts, and that's when everything started to gel for yeah. you. And that's when I started focusing on... Uh, a bit more on Christian music, and I uh, I heard a group called Love Song that came through there in the early 70s, and then I joined a group called Living Sound, and I thought I'd get on a bus for a year, and then 10 years later I got off the bus, you know, all over the world. That's amazing, yeah. and I know um, you're going to share one of your songs with us. Your God will make a way, yeah. so we're going to let you go ahead and and get over okay. to. The piano, where is the piano? There it is, right over there. Okay, okay. Uh, thank yep. you so much, Don. Thanks. Um, so Don is gonna treat us to the modern classic song, God Will Make a Way. That's also the title of his latest book, and it's one that you can get a copy of in stores nationwide.